Hey guys, um, I know it's been a while. I um, took an unexpected sort of a break from YouTube. I had some trips to go on and then I ended up burning my hand really badly and it was like my makeup hand. It would have been really, it's fine now. Anyway, I'm back. I thought I would do a pretty intense kind of purple smoky eye look. Purple eye makeup? She's insane! Crazy woman! Oh, and I must say, um, please excuse my change of location and possibly my awful lighting. I really don't know how this is going to turn out, but um, I am on a little bit of a trip right now, so <sighs> yeah. Not much else to know, so if you want to see how I did it, then just please keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take sort of a light skin tone color and place it in the inner corner of the eye, probably about a third of the way onto the moving lid, and also under the brow bone. This is just so whenever we put any color on the eye, this area is going to stay nice and light in here and not get too closed, closed up because we're using a lot of colors and a lot of dark colors. You want to sort of try to keep this area light in here and just because you put sort of a skin tone color there it's going to um, any color that you put on top of it it's going to make it a little more sheer so it's it's sort of like a guarantee that it's not going to close up your eyeball and the next color i'm going to use is a really dark purple vibrant purple it's poison plum by sugar pill and it's going to sort of go everywhere over the eye. It's going to be in the outer V, the crease, and I'm also going to lightly take it over the lid. And then with a pencil brush, I'm going to run it underneath the lower lash line as well. Only about like halfway, three quarters of the way. I'm just switching brushes to a 217. It's a little stiffer. It can sort of get along the lower lashes or the upper lashes better. And then back to a 224 just to bring it a little bit higher on the brow bone. And you see when I'm bringing it on the lid here over that skin tone color, it's just really fading nicely. So it's not going to like have a big purple stripe across the whole lash line. It's going to give you a nice kind of automatic gradient there. And just to be clear, um, on my eye shape, I'm bringing this color up uh, pretty far. I'm like touching the inside of the eyebrow there and bringing it all the way up to the brow bone. But that's because I have a really prominent, huge, like, brow bone. Like, this is rid ridiculous. I mean, it's not the hugest in the world, but it's still, like, in proportion to my eye. It's, you know, bigger. So what I'm essentially doing by bringing the color all the way up here and all the way up here is sort of receding this area so it looks less swollen it looks more um, open and lifted because you're basically carving out this like big chunk of flesh that's coming at you for someone who has less space than me between the fold of flesh and the bottom of the brow or basically no space at all, you really want to just like subtract what I'm doing here and just do the bottom lash, the, the lid, the lid and the lash line the way that I'm doing it. Anyway, that's all. That's what I just wanted to say to you guys. Moving along. Now on a pencil brush or any kind of like small brush that can fit underneath your eye, um, we're going to take a little bit of that purple, the poison plum. I'm going to take it probably three quarters of the way in. Um, under the lashes, just really close to the lash line. And make sure to connect it right here.
And just on the outer corner here, I'm winging it out a little bit more. I want it to, to be more of like a whew, cat thing, because I always do that, you know. It's nice. I like it. And I'm just going to take a clean, fluffy brush and, you know, make sure it's all where it should be. Feels so nice. Okay, so now, since you have that going, I'm just going to define the crease here a little bit more uh, with a black color. So it's just a matte black color. Connecting it to the lower lash line. On a push liner brush, I'm going to take it underneath the eye, really, really, really close to the lash line. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend out the black in the crease with, I think, the same brush that's awesome. Poison plum on it. That is so friggin' purple. Yeah. Okay. Um, now I'm going to take the silver from that same Wet n Wild palette, which is this guy right here. It's just gonna be like a topping for this purple. I'm gonna do it generally like probably two-thirds of the lid. I'm going to use a fluffy brush because I don't want it to be too dense over the purple. I just want it to have like a sort of silver frost over the purple. So a light little veil of silver. What I'm going to use is Vapor from MAC. It's um, sort of like a pinky white, not quite white, but it has like a blue shimmer in it. I'm going to use this on the inner corner highlights. And just on a short shader brush, I'm going to take some more of the Poison Plum and just bring it right underneath the tear duct. Okay. So there is that eye done. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this eye and just some gel liner and Mascara, probably won't do lashes at all. And I'll be right back. <laughs> Q-tip, where are you? Okay, so there is the other eye done. Um, have mascara on. I'm not gonna put lashes on just because, I mean, I didn't bring any, number one. And I don't know, just feel like it's really dramatic and if you put lashes on, they're kind of going to get lost. I don't know. I'm probably just being lazy and don't want to put them on. Anyway, um, for the cheeks, um, I did get a lot of fallout, like, all the way everywhere. It was bad. So I had to take it all off with a makeup wipe and redo it. And what I used was um, MAC Studio Fix Fluid and NC15. And... Um, also, Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. I used it with a flat lay down Eco Tools foundation brush and blended it with the Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender, so dirty. So, for the face, for the cheeks, cheek color, I'm probably just going to do a mix of a light pink and peach together. There is a little bit of a sheen from the well-dressed because it's a kind of a shimmery color. But I'm going to use a little bit of Dazzle Light, which is a an off-white, it basically shows up as white color. It's an eyeshadow. And then a bit right there. So I like to kind of bring that out. 
So on the lips, I'm going to use this lipstick from Milani. It's called Nude Cream, and it's kind of just like a peachy, peachy nude kind of color. Just around the outside of the lip, I'm going to use this lip liner from Maybelline called Rose. So there it is guys, I hope you enjoyed, um, hmm. for a different kind of a lip, um, I would, if I were going out to a club or something, I would totally wear this with a black lip. I know that that is not what a lot of people like, but I am a little bit on the spooky side. I'm using the 212 push liner brush and uh, wet and wild gel liner. I would just say any black lipstick over the Wet n Wild gel liner, or if you can stand how dry this is, do that. And now I'm just going around the edges of the lip with a foundation brush, that's the one I used earlier, just to make sure there's no red showing. Okay guys, so uh, that is my crazy wild, beautiful, purple, fun look for my contribution celebratory return uh, to YouTube. I would like to say welcome to all of the new subscribers that I have. I got like way more subscribers while I was gone thanks to the lovely Allie Nicole who mentioned me in one of her tag videos. I'll put her link in the description box. She's an amazing makeup artist. If you have any questions or requests or anything, Please, I would love to have requests because sometimes it's difficult to think of stuff to do. I don't know what you guys will like or not like um, or what you want to see, so just let me know. And um, other than that, thanks for watching and subscribing and I'll see you soon.